I've decided to actually use this brass plate for our pinhole. Um, brass really does make um, a better pinhole than aluminium, but if you can't afford to buy the brass or you can't find it, this stuff is just as good. Um, now it's a little bit thinner, a little bit softer, you know, with the aluminium, but uh, the brass is probably, it makes a better hole, a uh, nice cleaner hole, because the cleaner we get this hole, uh, the better images we're going to get out of this camera. So at the moment what I'm doing is just cutting out a plate now to fit over that hole. Alright, just going to measure this in here. It's not too bad. It doesn't have to be perfect as long as it fits within that area of course. Here, I think. So one line here. Oop. One here. This stuff is uh, quite thin. And if you have a decent pair of scissors, you could probably cut this with scissors as well. So again, you know, no need to go out and buy snips. Put them in the shed. And that will fit in there just nicely. Thank you very much. Yes, beautiful. Alright, now the one thing I wanted to show you guys uh, at this stage is that we, we're going to put this plate on top which now the <clears throat> shutter piece will slide underneath and then uh, make our shutter closed and open okay, for our exposures. Now, very important that uh, because we've got a thick, big thick piece of wood here, I mean it's not huge but it's quite thick, now we've got the pinhole sitting here. Now if we're going to put something on the outside here, we've got to make sure that we're not going to have any vignettes happening with this hole in here. We don't want the whole image to be like that all the time. Um, so it's very important to know that uh, what your field of view is, and for this particular case, as we uh, go right back to number one video, uh, we worked out the angle of view is 75 degrees on these specs. Okay, now this is for 106mm focal length for the camera, which is equivalent to around about 28mm uh, on a 35mm camera. Okay, it's about the same uh, angle of view. So in this case, what I've done is I've cut out a piece that is 75 degrees, and if we put this into the middle of the plate, and if it touches the plate, and that the edges aren't touching around the circle here, then we can be guaranteed that the view won't be obstructed by anything on the outside of the pinhole. All right, so what we've got so far is the panel now painted in the black. So black from the inside, so when it goes in, the whole inside of the camera is all nice and black. Uh, now the next step is our pinhole. Now I suggest that uh, when you get uh, your sheet of brass that you're going to buy, just off cut a, a little bit of a, a test piece, and this is what we need to do. Um, now this is a, a scribe. I would suggest that you just get a very small um, pin, you know, like a knitting, um, not a knitting, but uh, a sewing needle and uh, try and mount this into like a, a brush a brush handle, try and glue it in and then what we need to do is to just very lightly get a very a solid surface behind this piece of brass and just hammer down just gently every time until we just break through the surface because the hole we need is about 0.43 of a millimeter it's less than half a mil so once we go through, have a look at the light, any light coming through, and then a little bit more. Okay, a little bit more. And every time we do that, we're going to get some uh, wet and dry. It's very, very uh, smooth sandpaper, and just sand the back down flat again where the, the scribes actually push the metal through 
Try and get that damn flat. Send it flat again. <coughs> and go back. And just gently uh, tap through that hole again. Until we start to see a hole come through. And once you do that, and you sand down that surface again, go back to the hole and just gently spin the needle through the hole just to make that hole a little bit more smooth and push any sort of metal out and then we re-sand that thing again sand that surface again until we get a nice even hole have a look through the eye glass go through the hole a little bit more re-sand it Have a look in the eyeglass. So every time you're doing that, you're working the hole and you're getting it more and more round as a hole. Because any burrs in that hole won't, won't do your, your, hip, your pinhole any good actually. So what we're looking for is to actually produce the roundest hole we can produce on this piece of brass. Okay, now that looks pretty good. Now once we've done that, we need to actually scan that now to a very high resolution scan, around about 1200 dpi, and we're going to go through that next to, um, to show you guys how to actually measure this hole quite accurately. So, um, as you can see here, we've got uh, the plate scanned. Now I've scanned this on a scanner at 12800 dpi. Uh, it's quite high and uh, we can see a much better um, enlargement of this image now. So as you can see here, uh, the hole I made in that little plate that you saw in the last video um, is around about 0.5 mil. Now um, the ideal uh, size that I wanted really was 0.43 uh, but 0.5 I think for this case is I guess close enough. So. Yeah, so there you have it. So the difference is, as you can see on those lines, from 0.3 to 0.5, not much really. So, yep, yeah, that's the best way to do it. So put it onto uh, the scanner, uh, bring it into Photoshop, and bring up your rulers, and zoom right in, and you'll be able to accurately um, measure the hole. Easier than uh, trying to look at a magnifying glass and a ruler and that sort of thing. So, yeah. So, I've got the plate made up. There it is there, tiny hole, 0.5 mil. Uh, as I said before, 0.4, uh, 0.43 was the optimum diameter for the focal length that we needed. But 0.5 I think will be, um, be pretty close enough for what we want. So I've um, etched away the wood there so it'll sit under the surface. So what I'm going to do now is actually glue that in. The back's all painted black already and I'm just going to make sure that that hole is still sitting in the middle there and the next thing we're going to do is put this plate on top screw that in I'm actually going to have uh, four screws uh, screw this in because uh, maybe later on I might want to change the size of the hole and um, you know once this is all glued in that's not sort of possible so I'm just leaving that option open putting these screws in and then I'm just going to um, cut those as they come through the back there so I have four screws on this front plate, keeping that plate in. Now I'm only just going to spot glue this in, because if I need to take it out, I can just pop it out. So, as you can see here, we don't need much. Just need a little bit of attack there that plate in place. Just so I won't move. Glue that in. All done. Now we'll wait till that dries and then we'll screw the front on here. <coughs> 